And that was the video of the song Amen by Doobie. I hope you enjoyed that. Earlier today, we had told you that we'll be bringing a music producer, a disc jerky. I would love to call him a music business entrepreneur because he's that. His name is DJ Java and he's here with us. Hello, DJ Java. How are you doing? How are you? Not bad, not bad. Your name is very interesting. When I hear DJ Java, <laughs> the first thing I think of is maybe one program, you know, IT. Yeah, yeah, so, you, I mean, you're not, you're not so wrong, but, you know, me, I program the dance floor, so that's okay. Oh, I'm still programming here, yeah, so when nice. you're ready, <laughs> before you get in, I've seen the end of the party. Good to so have you. So I know you have time. Thank you. When, when, when you hear a song, what's the first thing that jumps at you? You know, as a DJ, we know yeah. that... You are the ones, apart from on-air personalities, DJs are also the ones that determine some songs, whether they'll be hit or not. Yes. Because if you're not playing the artist song at parties, people may not get to know the song as much. Yeah, yeah. So what's the first thing that jumps at you when you hear a song? Uh, basically, it's just the, the first 10, like within the first 10 seconds, like I, I already have an idea of whether this is going to like be it or not. Like the beat and then the way the artist enters the song. Then obviously, if everything is good, then you know, listening to the end, you can easily tell. But from the beat and the way he attacks it at first, he or she, yeah, you already know where, where the song is going. Whether it's a hit or a miss. Okay, yeah, so, you already so, know. You have an idea. So why did you choose to be a DJ? Uh, like, because I, because I, because I love it. Mm. I love the idea of like playing music for people. I love the idea of seeing people happy. You know, because everyone wants to play music. You notice there's a party. Everybody wants to plug in their phones to play something. There's that joy. Knowing that, oh, everyone is having fun and it's from you. And at what point did you know you wanted to do this? Because uh, yeah. you know, at what point did you know you wanted to do this? And what influenced this decision? Could it, could it be that you know, uh, music is a thing in your family? or Yes, apart from music being a thing in my family, I think it was where I was at the time. So I, I schooled in Cyprus. So it was, how the, 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 it, was, it was how DJs were celebrated and how people loved music over there. So I actually saw that, you know, I, I could actually make a living off this, you know, mm. like catching that vibe. It was really different and it was fun. So it was more like, it was more than just playing music for people, you know, because so, we get appreciated and it was just interesting. So I just, you know, let me just go in. Okay, so I've always wondered how do these jerkies actually yeah. regulate the kind of songs they play? Um, of course, I, I would feel that moods are included, but are there any <laughs> other things you guys consider? You know, doing events and yes, all of that? Yes, uh, the type so of the events. The songs you play or change? Yeah, it could be the type of events. It could be the times you can go to a particular event and then you look around, you can kind of guess the age group. So also that's important because you don't want to go to a 50, 50 at birthday playing. Yeah, playing skillet. Yeah, playing trap. You know, you need to take them back to the 80s, maybe drop some 90s hits. So sometimes it depends. And then a good DJ, once you get the crowd and you know the event and then you play a song and you see the reaction, you should be able to pick up from there. Okay. Once you engage the crowd and you played the song, they're like is there are songs that just follow. I don't know how to explain it to you, but did you understand? <laughs> I think I understand there are songs that just there. follow. There are some hits that just follow, okay. and then when they get so excited, you can now play, you know, the Afro beats. Take them, you know, then you could drop some in there. All them electric slide. When everyone is excited, so it's just the way it goes. Yeah, right. Did you understand? Let's also look at <laughs> yeah. you know the bad days because I yes. believe that the DJ can either make or break the party. Definitely. Have you? ever honestly had an incident where even you you knew your spirit that that dj and i dj today was it yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah sometimes <laughs> but but the thing about it is that it's, it's easier for it's easier to detect from someone who's not a dj because me and i'm sure that there are people there are like djs like myself that when we go to like a, a party yeah well we want to have fun but because we're djs we're really paying attention to the music the dj is playing do you understand what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, oh, okay, if it was me, I could have played, uh, you know, after Fake Love, I could have played uh, maybe Fever, you know, because of the vibe. And maybe after Fake Love, he played something else. So it depends. But there are times where, yo, the mixing is just terrible. And that's the most important thing in DJing, the mixing. Some people are good song selectors. You understand? They know that, okay, yes, um, this track is a hit. So after this one, they play another hit. The crowd don't know you know, how it's going. But because the music is good, you're just dancing. And you're playing okay. your favorite song, you're dancing. But anyone who is technical, like any good DJ, can tell that, oh, more, this guy just... And tell me. So me, that's how me, I judge that. Oh, so those, <laughs> yeah. on the days where you now, you know, yeah. you sleep up, and you're watching the audience reaction, because I think with DJs, it's instant feedback. You know if you're doing well or not from yes, the crowd yes. reaction. If you think you didn't do well and you're watching the crowd reaction, how are you able to handle that? Uh, well, me, I think... 
in in like when I go DJing and and stuff like uh, sometimes some people are just dull. Like maybe they've not reached their, their peak yet, or maybe they are thinking of something. And then there are some people who are just ready to party. So even your error is still fun. So I just kind of focus on those people. Like I I just try to get and because I feed off. The crowd. The so I just look for where it's, it's part. Even if I know, okay, well, what is music? Oh, I'm not too sure. But I just go to one side where they're really feeling what I might not be feeling to pick energy. So I just feel like when I get energy from there, I can, like, you know, get back on my feet and then just give everyone. So it sometimes depends. But I look at the, 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 the crowd that has the energy so I could get energy from them to distribute it to anyone that's dull in. But, <laughs> yeah, so that's how it works sometimes. Okay, so are there celebrities that you're actually attached to in a way when you, like, dealing on music? Like, let me say, okay, maybe your top ten, top five kind of people that you know. Anywhere, anytime, yeah, you uh, must definitely jam. Yes, now. Yeah. Uh, uh, they, I won't, I can't when, jam. Where do they enter? Oh, oh, my God. Why? <laughs> I know. I feel like he was one of the biggest acts of 2018. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, he, I mean, Bon has always been on it for long. I don't I know just, if people yeah, have been sleeping on him. Late. I don't I've know. Been on but him. this year, he actually gave everyone like a track. Yeah, he came prepared actually. Yes. If you say you don't like on the low, you like Bono. If you say you don't like Bono, you like Ye. Yeah. If you say you don't like Ye, you like uh, uh, Devin California. I say you like you like something. And then make you go back to the archive. So yeah, there are artists, you know, I mean Weezy, you know, you gotta play mm. Weezy, David Do, you know, Files, there's Tenny, even Tenny. Ah. You know, so there are some songs that, you know, as a DJ, they are lifesavers. You know, there was a oh, time, really? yes, they're always lifesavers. So there are some times you can just hook and you know what to play. You know, sometimes it could be able God, you know, especially when you're up there and you're just like, ah, oh, more, I need to get these people back on ground. Able God is default. Once you play it, able God, everybody, everybody's high. Yeah, so the time that they are all like boogieing, you're already thinking of the next one and then you can just go for the next five, six songs. Mm. So, you know, there are some artists that their song has to be played. It's not even like you're attached so you to them mentioned, or not. Do you, yeah, do you so, have uh, them in like an order? Do you yes, have an order? yes. Uh, from, from uh, the, I mean, number one, Weezy. Um, I don't know if you listen to SA, but there's a guy called Black Coffee. Okay. Yes, Black Coffee is really good because he, he is a, he's a DJ, he's a producer, and he pushes the whole um, culture, uh, house music to the world you know, on a larger platform. And then there's Bonner Boy. <laughs> yeah, what about we go over it was you know, you know, you know what he's, 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 he's doing really good. The boy and, of the moment whose mom yes, knows the internet. I mean sure his mom is a G. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then uh there's Calvin Harris, you know, because he's also a DJ. I, I like me too, I'm a DJ that produces and I like DJs. I like to see DJs produce because I feel that's the whole idea. Apart from just spinning people's records, you should be able to also, like, produce your own. When you're talking of DJs and producers, yes. there's a name that is, there's this beat that is coming to my mind, but I can't remember the name of the guy. He's not a Nigerian Prince DJ. KB. No, don't you worry, don't you worry. worry? Yeah, it's I Calvin think. Harris. Yeah. Oh, is that yeah. Calvin, yes. Harris? Yes. Calvin Harris? Oh, actually. really? But well, there's still another name that I, I'll, I'll remember this. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, it's easy to spot them. Then uh, there's David Doe. Uh, David, obviously. OBO, like, that's OBO. Young gang. But there's, there's, you know, there's not really much to say, you know. <laughs> You've been coming through. So there's also Prince KB. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm sure you... You know, you hear songs, but you might not know it's Prince KV. Okay. But it's called, uh, there's a track called Club Controller. Oh. Yeah. It doesn't really have lyrics. Okay. Yeah, the beat goes on for so long. Yeah, mm, Prince KV. Yeah, okay. so there's also, uh, I mean, there's, there's Faust. Faust, the bad guy. <laughs> yes. Yo, you know, I wouldn't have a track with Faust called Tight Jeans. And I mean, Faust is an awesome rapper. Mm. Let's, let's be honest. It's not easy to, to rap in your bar, you know, put all those things there. So Faust is also good. And Kiss Daniel. You know, it's I, know, I, I reckon that I believe that he has a lot of amazing yes, songs you, out there. Uh, there's, there's no bad song, except you don't just buy albums. Most people don't buy albums, and that's the problem. So when the song comes out, they're like, oh, he has done this one. Yeah, he has done it. He didn't just buy his album. <laughs> no, <but laughs> so he's, good he's, to, he's really done from yes. Mama to I mean, Oju. Even when he gives DJs, like, yeah. the songs still, I mean, Baba is, is a big I song. I particularly actually love the texture of his voice. Yeah, I mean, That's the most intriguing even, thing. You know, you listen to, before the 10, ten seconds, you already know that oh, this one is already going. You don't need, you don't need to, he's not going to mess up. So uh, there's also a Tenny. Makanasi. Tenny, yes. the hottest <laughs> newcomer on the block. Because she's 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 basically one of the most confident. She's I, I, I really like how confident she is in her in her skin, in her talent. Oh yes. yes. And I feel like she's one of the most notable freestylers in the industry. Yes, Actually. I mean she gives them all like 
It was just, what well, the other day I was just screwing like, okay, was, and I just see like bare freestyles, 100,000 views. Oh, this is just bare blame. freestyle, it's not lyrics. This is just like a freestyle. Our national anthem right now is your mayor, my <laughs> tiny entertainer. In every way I hear that song, I just want yeah. to lift up my hands and turn it And I actually watch watched her performance on Sunday at the Sound City MBA, MVP Awards. It was fantastic. Yeah. She doesn't even need to do much. Fantastic. As Kamaya is gone. Uh, case, please. Who was that guy that was talking about Tenny and saying, <laughs> watch No, no, no. I mean, you know, people have Pel their own problems, but let's be honest. Pelwuzi. Let's be honest. <laughs> so let's let's move over Pelwuzi to your number ten. Uh, number Pelwuzi. ten, uh, Busi. Mm. She's a South Af she's a South African artist. Is she the one that sang oh, Easy to Love. With okay, you're just so easy to yes. love. Oh, okay. And she has an album out, uh, and it's amazing. People sleep on all these ladies. There's even Busiswa as well. Yeah, she's Busiswa one on is, Sunday yes. too. Exactly. So Butiswa is good. And there's also Shoma Josie. You know, these are, these are people like SA. People don't really go there to listen to tracks. So yeah, Busi is also an amazing artist. So now yeah. that we've looked at all the international artists, let's look at DJs in Nigeria. Yeah. Who are your top three DJs? Uh, Aside yourself. <laughs> you know, top three DJs. Um, I mean, everyone is dope. Everyone is my top three. <laughs> Don't do everyone, Chava. everyone is my, everyone Chava is my top three. Okay, is there one DJ that you, you know, usually they'll say when I started my career, DJ Snoop yeah. or DJ Consequence or DJ this or DJ that. Okay, and I know be, you started in Cyprus. Okay, yeah. To be fair, so when I was in Cyprus, when I was in Cyprus, I'll be honest, when I was in Cyprus, and I was like looking, uh, you know, I used to watch videos. Okay, what's what's popping in Nigeria? Let me not come back and be lost. So I was actually a DJ exclusive. To be honest, was one of the guys. I know watching it from. Um, his shows at Jan, you know, the way he just does, you know, came back to Nigeria. I was like, okay, 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 you know, okay. Then there was also um, DJ Spinal. I say, because when I got back, you know, I was just going in and out clubs, in and out shows, just to listen to what DJs play. Oh, I've heard of this guy in Cyprus. All right, now let me see. So I was going to Industry Night a lot. Then DJ Spinal was doing Industry Night. So yeah, DJ Spinal. And so you all check each other out a lot, huh? Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean, it's good. It's it's healthy competition. You know, it's not like we're trying to, you know, but we're listening. Okay, what's he playing? Do you understand? Okay, let me go. Oh, let me go up my playlist. Oh, like, what let me can make I sure. Learn? Yes, what can I learn? You know, like even he might just come up. You know, I mean, the other day I had a show at Velvet and an, an exclusive. You know, did did a one hour set, on my, like at my party, and I was happy. I was like, yeah, <laughs> because you know, back in the days, I used to be like, oh, exclusive. You know. So that's how it is. We kind of like learn from each other, you know, feed off energy. And then there's also consequence, you know, your consequence too as well, you know, like, well, well, why is everyone talking about Aquilox? You know, let me go, let me see what Aquilox is about. Mm. Consequence playing there. But I told DJ, DJ OB, I mean, DJ Prince. I mean, there's, there's a whole lot of DJs. DJ Snake. Even though that DJ is not in Nigeria. <laughs> yeah, DJ Snake is yeah. dope, you know. Yeah, Thank you and, so much yeah, for joining appreciate, us. DJ appreciate Java. so much. I, feed up, I hope you're able to feed off our energy because yes, yes, we're feeding yes, off your energy yes. and your energy was strong and intense. Appreciate, but we're about, about to wrap up the show. <laughs> to enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.